Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is Don Maku. So, just took a drink of my water and I'm um, good to go. So Sarna started out, um, She, like I said, she doesn't know any information about anyone that's around her. Obviously, I'm going to end up knowing, eventually knowing who everyone is, but um, there's not much I can do about that. Speaking of, who's the other partner? I think that's probably good information to know ahead of time. Uh, we do know that Sakia, well, Sakia knows that she's the one true partner and that she needs to kill the other partner, then deal with everybody else. So she does want to protect Sarno, but she does also need to find who the other partner is. Um, Aya is, of course, the rival, so she needs to take out the uh, heroine as well. And the other partner is actually not supporting um, the heroine. She's actually supporting, supposed to be supporting the extra boss. Now, something to note about the extra boss, who is Alice, in this case, she's a phantom boss, is she can actually, at any time, she can just reveal herself. Or sorry, she, at any time, if at least one other player has been defeated, you may reveal this role. So if someone's been defeated, she can be like, all right, I reveal myself. Everyone will now know that I am the phantom boss, and now I'll get my phantom, true phantom boss ability, which can be pretty useful. It also means that uh, the EX boss will have support from possibly the partner. The problem is, is Alice does not know that the that one of the partners is an EX mid boss. She doesn't know, and there's no way for her to know. So, she, I mean, it's definitely a risky venture to play, purposely put yourself out as the EX boss. But if he, she does that, um, if there are still bosses in play, um, Cerna will be like, okay, well, the EX boss probably doesn't want to mess with me yet because she needs to take out the bosses first. So, all right. Anyway, with all that said and done, let's go ahead and go through the steps as before. So, start of the turn, nothing new. Uh, incident step, uh, nothing new there because this is still in play and nothing new happened. Sometimes there might be an a active effect that happens at the start of every turn during the incident step, but in this case, there is nothing. Anyway. So yeah, instant step, then draw step. So she draws two cards, just like uh, just like before. And there you go. All right. All right. So here's laser shot. This is a Dom Maku that can um, hit anyone from anywhere and can't be avoided. So pretty useful stuff there. All right. So for this turn, not much I can really do. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, Grimore and draw two cards. All right, so Supernatural Border will be really useful. It's a really good defense card. This is one of those situations where it takes a look. It will potentially avoid attacks from Spring and Summer. Oh, sorry, the way this works is every time you're attacked, you flip the top card. And if it's Spring and Summer, you avoid the attack. We haven't really talked about flipping cards yet, but uh, we'll deal with that soon enough. Anyway. Unfortunately, Alice really needs this worldly desires to go away, and right now she can't do much with it. Um, in fact, she can't do anything. Um, actually, I could do Volet, or Vol. Draw three cards, then place one card from her hand back on top of the deck. So she'll draw three more cards and see if she can do something. Okay. Okay, Master Plan. What this does is I can resolve the current incident, then look at the top three cards of any deck and place them on top of the, or bottom of, of that deck, deck in any order. Okay. So you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and do Master Plan. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and immediately resolve this. This gets discarded. And then I could look at the top cards of any deck, so either the, um, the main deck or the incident deck. And she gets to look at them privately and put them in any order she wants. Now, it's each individual card. I can pick whether it goes on top or the bottom. So my choices for inc uh, the, Now, the incident's been resolved. So the next incident that's going to be revealed is going to be on Yukari's turn. So there's some options here. I could either go with Scarlet Weather Rhapsody, which is at the start of every turn, it flips a card and then crazy stuff happens, uh, random stuff happens. You could do the Endless Party, which is each player draws one card at, during the incident step. 
and then and this will last until the deck's reshuffle, which the deck is already getting thinned out already. And then there's Lily White, who's the devil. So you know what? We're gonna put Lily White on top. This is this could backfire, but I'm betting that um, for the next seven turns, people are gonna get wrecked by this by this card, and then potentially resolve it. That's the plan anyway. So this is going to go on top. Okay. Next. Well, I can now actually use item cards. So I'm going to go ahead and play Supernatural Border. So now I have a defense card up. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and play a bomb card. And then you may attack a player in range. Okay. Well, I don't have... The only people that are in range is Yukari and uh, Cerno right now. So I'm going to go ahead and play Bomb. Actually, do I want to play Bomb? I have no... I have no defenses. So that's a problem. But what I do know is Yukari doesn't actually have any Grace cards. Or if she does, um, she just drew one. So I'm going to actually go ahead and shoot Yukari. Yukari's going to go ahead have no choice but to take it. Then she's going to draw a card. Because she just took a damage. And now she drew a Grace. Okay. That's all been resolved. So that was my one dot maku for the round, and I can't actually do anything else. I can bomb. If I, well, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to hold on to the bomb because I don't want to risk losing anything else. So this means I have to discard. I'm going to go ahead and discard my two, shoot card, two of my shoot cards, and that'll be it. Now it's Yukari's turn. Uh, also, Yukari has to discard a card because she has too many cards in her hand. I'm going to go ahead and discard a shoot card. Okay. Next. Um, so yeah, it's Yukari's turn. It's now the start of her turn. She needs to draw the next incident card, which is Lily White. It activates immediately. During your incident step, flip the top card of the deck. If it's summer, resolve this incident. If it's spring you lose three life this is not an attack so you can't avoid it now the good news is this is a winter card so nothing happens but it does mean that lily white is still in play okay yukari gets to draw a card and well two cards and it's now her turn all right when attack flip the top card blah 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 all right so yukari is kind of in trouble <laughs> um, her, she is the final boss, which means she needs to at least defeat at least one partner. And so far, everyone's been picking on her. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to do spiritual attack, and I'm going to attempt to steal the supernatural border because that's her special ability, and then attack her. Alice is of course aware that Yukari can steal things, and she's just going to bomb and cancel it. So there you go. Spell card cancelled. Bomb discarded. Okay. So she can't play any more bombs this round. Um, and she doesn't really have very much else she could do this round. Um, she could do one other thing, which is she can actually seal away. Right now there's a cat who wants to be very playful right now. Alright, so I'm going to play seal away. And I'm going to target Alice. Now the the order of operations is important, so it says I could force someone to uh, force uh, Alice to discard an item card that she controls. So I force her to discard Supernatural Border. Then the attack happens, so it's going to do one damage to Alice unless she can avoid it, which she can't. So unless anyone else wants to support her, which I'm going to assume no. So there you go. Especially, especially since uh, Alice was the cause of putting Lily White into play. I don't think anyone wants to be our friend right now. So, she takes a wound. Alice does draw a card. And this gets discarded. Now the good news is, um, Yukari is down to um, four cards, which is useful. Bad news is, uh, she's down to two life. All right, so that ends that turn. It's now Aya's turn. Now, Aya could actually could have uh, negated a lot of this stuff, but she's kind of just hanging out. Um, Aya is the rival, which means she does want to eventually get rid of Cerno, but she also wants the rest of the characters to be softened up as well. So she can become the real hero heroine. Anyway, first things first, 
um, incident step. This incident is still in play, so we need to flip the top card. It is summer, so this resolves the incident. And that ends, the, and that, ends that nonsense. So Alice's plan didn't really work out. That's okay. One, two. So now she's drew, drew a card. Um, she's going to go ahead and play a power card. Play her mini Hakuro. So now she has three range. Oh, sorry. She has a total of five range because she starts with one range, plus one for power, plus three for the mini Hakuro. So she has five range, which means she can hit pretty much anyone on the table. Um, she can also play two uh, Dalmaku cards around if she chooses to. Now, what I want to actually do is I'm actually going to go ahead and discard my two shoot cards like this and activate um, and act and use the mini Hakuro to activate my uh, spell card. So I discard two cards to activate my spell card. I'm going to do Wind God Girl. Now, The way this is going to work is reveal the top five, and then you may attack a player in range. Now, does anyone want to cancel this? I don't think anyone can. It doesn't look like anyone can. At least they can't negate the entire spell card. Nope. So, well, actually, um, Cerno can. Uh, let's see. But if Cerno, if Cerno does bomb it, she'll be completely defenseless. So she's going to let it go through. So what's going to happen is reveal top five cards and place any Damaku cards revealed this way into her hand. So one, two, three, four, five. So these shoot cards go back in her hand, which is good because that just pretty much refunded the cost. The rest gets discarded. Okay. And then I can attack someone that's within range. Um, now, in the case of the rival, let me check it. Well, I can't actually check it, can I? Okay. I mean, as well as long as she's still the rival, she doesn't have to worry about accidentally killing partners. I mean, it still sucks if she loses part. Uh, her helpful partners because they'll become her uh, well sorry it would suck to lose a partner that's right now helping Serna that could potentially help her in the future but right now she won't suffer any of the penalties so what she's going to go ahead and do is with her attack player and any, uh, any player in range um, she's going to target Yukari <laughs> um, Yukari is going to go ahead and graze it to dodge it and then she's going to go ahead and attack a player in range and she's going to attack um She's actually going to go ahead and attack Aya. Actually, no, she doesn't want to attack someone that's right now active. Um, she will target Alice. So Alice is going to graze that to avoid the attack. And that is it for that bomb. So the bomb's been taken care of. These are in her hand now. And next, she's going to go ahead and shoot Yukari. Yukari's going to have to take it. And then she'll draw a card. And then she's going to shoot Yukari one more time. And unless someone saves her. Which she has no reason to. The only person that could save her right now is... Yukari. Defeat the heroine after the extra boss has been defeated. So Yukari could potentially save her. But if she does, she's completely defenseless. Defenseless. So she's not going to do it. <laughs> uh, Sakia doesn't want to because she obviously want, she wants to support the heroine but while finding out who the other um, who the other partner is. So yeah, this will be the death of Yukari. Now when, you, when a player dies, I believe you do reveal who they are, because I think that makes the most sense. Uh, Once a player is defeated, they that player discards all cards they have in their play, uh, all cards in hand and all items in play, then they reveal their, their roll card. So all this gets discarded.
And just one thing I want to check. Yeah. Pretty much the, the death happens the moment um, the action is, res is resolved and no one tries to react to it. So that's what happened. Yukari is out. She was the final boss. So one boss is down, which is probably good news for a lot of the characters, every most of the people involved. Um, it does mean that the other bosses are possibly not in a good situation. Um, and that is it for um, Aya's round. She doesn't actually have anything else she wants to do. Well, she can't really do anything this round. So there you go. The rival took out, uh, got the killing blow on one of the um, bosses. Okay. So with all that taken care of, next it's Atsuo. Atsuo reveals the next incident, which is the Scarlet Rather Rhapsody. Flip the top card of the deck and perform the end action according to the season. All right. This is Spring. Swap hands with the player on your right. So all, all these cards here. Get swapped with um, Pacholi, which is actually bad for Pacholi because her one advantage is starting with seven cards has been nullified. All right. Now, the way this uh, incident is resolved is if um, the resolution collects two cards of each season, which right now there's only one spring card. All right. Next, um, Atsua draws. All right. So at this point, quite a bit of things I can do. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, Sorcerer Sutra Scroll, which is whenever you play this, you draw a card. So I'll draw a card. And now my um, now Atsua's max hand size is 7. And also during the draw step, she draws an extra card. So now she draws 3 cards per round instead of just 2. All right. Now, what Atsua is is she is the EX mid boss. She needs to figure out who the mid boss, uh, the actual um, extra boss is, and support her. But she has no idea who that is. All right. So next thing we need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and play a focus card. Get that taken care of. And we're actually running out of cards here, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and play. Party. Now what Party does is you draw a card for each active player. Then for each active player, choose one card drawn this way and place it in their hand. So there are now one, two, three, four, five, six players, or sorry, seven players left. So I'm going to just draw them out here. Okay, seven cards. So for each player, I have to give them a card, including myself. So the question is, is what card would I rather have? I kind of want that one up, though the last word is also pretty good. I also kind of want that power card <laughs> so I can actually, you know, do stuff with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the one up. I'll give the... I know that Patchouli has nothing but Grace cards in her hand because I just swapped with her, so I'm going to give her another Grace card. I'm going to go ahead and give... Aya a Grace card. I'm going to give Cerno a Grace card, just to be friends. I'm going to give Last Word to Yuka. I want to give a shoot to Al. Oh, sorry. I want to give a last word to Alice. Would I give it to Alice? Yeah, I'll give it to Alice. I'll give shoot to. Um... Actually, I really don't want to give up the last word. It's not much I can do about it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give a shoot to. It's not really a good option here. I'm going to go ahead and give it to Yukari and give the power to Sakia. Okay, and then I draw another card because that's the last thing that party does. 
So there you go. Alright, so next. I'm going to go ahead and play one of these freaking spiritual attacks. So the way this works is choose a player in range, attack that player three times. So obviously I'm going to... The only person, people that are in range is Aya and um, Patchouli. So actually I'm going to go ahead and target Aya. And Aya is just going to bomb and negate it. Now, in hindsight, I shouldn't have given her a graze if I was going to target her with a bomb, but that's fine. I just needed to use these things because I have so many cards. Um, next, I will go ahead and... Who do I want to shoot at is the question. Now, note that um, since um, Yukari is now down, um, everyone else can actually... Um, the distance between characters is now different. So, uh, Alice is only two distance away now. So, with that thought in mind, let's see, I have three, four, five, six, seven cards. Eh, I could just shoot, and I'll still have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I could do just one shoot card. All right. I'm actually going to go ahead and shoot Aya, and Aya's just going to graze it. Collect two cards of each season. Uh, something I forgot to do is actually do all the collection that I just did. So it's going to go spring, summer, winter, winter. It's any cards that are supposed to go in the discard pile are supposed to be collected. So that's my bad. All right. And that should be it. Four, five, six, seven. Yep, and I'm down to seven cards, and that's the max because of the Suture Skull scroll. So that is it. Okay. Um, now everyone has to discard down to their respective uh, card numbers. So it's going to be. She needs to discard a card, so she's just going to go ahead and discard the uh, shoot card, which is Spring, which we already have two of. So that doesn't get collected. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Cerno will discard a shoot card, which is going to be a summer card. So that goes there. So at this point, all I need is autumn cards, but not much I can do about that. Um, I'll discard a shoot card. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Sakia will discard a shoot card. And that should be everybody. Okay. Next is going to be Patchouli. Uh, Patchouli needs to reveal the top card because of the incident. Top card is a summer card. Draw one card. So that's all the effect there. So she draws three cards this round. One. Two. And three. All right. Not much you can do this round, obviously. Um, and Patchy is the anti-heroine, um, which is she needs to defeat the heroine after one stage boss has been defeated. Now, the good news is, for Patchy, is the final boss has been defeated, which is a stage boss. So all she needs to do is kill Cerno. Now, if she starts opening fire on Sarno, of course, that's going to bring some attention to her. Also, she can't exactly reach... Um, she can't reach Sarno, so that's kind of a problem as well. Um, yeah. So not much she can actually do this round. Um, so what she's going to go ahead and do is uh, target Utsuo and try to get rid of some of those um, additional cards. So she's going to go ahead and do Seal Away. Which is going to enforce her to discard the... Uh, actually, no, she can't. Well, sorry. Yes, she can. I can either dis force her to discard the focus so I can hit her. Or I can force her to discard the suture skull and ensure that she reduces her hand size. And she certainly doesn't want Atsuo to have a lot of firepower. So I'm going to go ahead and seal away the suture scroll, Which is a, an autumn card. This gets discarded. And now I would actually attack that person if they are in range. She is not in range. Because um, of the focus card, she is three away from Patchouli. 
All right, um, so that's all taken care of. That was my one Doc Maku, and that is it for her round. So that is it. Um, next. Oh, actually, sorry. Next will be um, Atsu needs to discard her cards now because she is down. She needs to discount discard down to four. So what she's going to go ahead and do is discard the spiritual attack. Actually, does she want to discard a spiritual attack? Yeah, she does, and she's going to discard a sh and discard uh, two shoot cards. So there you go. This is a autumn card, and that will actually complete Scarlet Re Weather Rhapsody. So that gets that's been resolved. Okay. All right. So that's been resolved. Um, now it's going to be um, Sakia's turn. Uh, for Sakia's turn, it's going to first start with the um, reveal the next incident, which is the Endless Party. During your incident step, each player draws one card. Now the catch to this is the resolution is the deck is shuffled. So what ends up happening is um, everyone's going to draw one card because that's the effect of the incident, but that's going to cause it to be reshuffled, and that's going to resolve the incident. So there you go. All right, so we'll start with that. So Sakia gets a card. Yuka gets a card. Sarno gets a card. Alice gets a card. Aya gets a card. Uh, Atsuo gets a card. And of course, Patchy gets a card. OK, now it's going to be Sakia's turn. So she draws two more cards. OK, so her, for her turn, she's going to go ahead and Play the stopwatch, because that's, you know, fitting for her. Um, Sakia is the one true partner, so she needs to figure out who the other partner is, but she has absolutely no clue. But um, as the one true partner, she's pretty much safe to attack anyone, as long as it's, some, um, as long as it's not the heroine. All right, so some things she can do is she could try to steal a um, spell card and try to blast someone that's nearby. Now, Patchouli has like a million cards in her hand, so she's not feeling very comfortable about attacking her. Um, but she's going to attack Yuka because Yuka is Yuka. So she's going to go ahead and do capture spell card. And she's going to capture Atsuo spell card in an attempt to blast uh, Yuka three times at the cost of one life. Yuka is going to go ahead. She can't prevent it from happening, but she can at least um, graze one of the attacks and then take two damage. Oh, sorry. She'll take one damage first. So I have to do this in order. There's three attacks. First attack gets grazed. Second attack is going to do one wound, and then she draws a card. And then the next one will do one more wound, and then she draws a card. Okay. Now this tells her, of course, that uh, now this tells Sakia that she doesn't actually have any way to defend herself. So she's going to go ahead and keep up the pressure somehow. <laughs> she's going to go ahead and play a shoot card on Yuka. Yeah, so she's going to go ahead and shoot at Yuka, but I'm going to go ahead and ha uh, Patchel is actually going to go ahead and interfere. She's going to play Graze, discard a Damaku card to dodge on Yuka's behalf. The reason you, you would do this as Patchy is because she's met her requirement. She just needs the heroine to die. And she's pretty sure Yuka can be pretty destructive. That and the board's getting kind of cleared very quickly here. Um, now, unfortunately, there's not much else um, Sakia can do right now. She'll go ahead and play a power card and then end her turn. Next is going to be Yuka. Oh, actually, sorry. Next is everyone needs to discard a card because they have too many cards in their hand. I'm going to go ahead and discard a... I'm going to go ahead and discard a shoot card with Atsuo. 
one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's four cards, that's fine. And you can discard a spiritual attack. Not exactly the best thing to discard, but it's better than nothing. Um, in the case of Yuka, she can discard a shoot and oddly enough, a power. There you go. Alright, so next is Yuka's turn. Yuka reveals the next incident because there's no incident. When this incident enters play, all players draw up to their max hand size. During your incident step, draw up to your max hand, si as hand size and you still take your draw step. And this will remain in play until six summer cards are, are um, gathered. So max hand size is five, four. Uh, I as is four, so she goes up to four. You're at four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, Patchy goes up to seven. And Sakya goes up to seven. Okay. Next, Yuka draws two cards because it's her draw step. And now she can get started. So first things first, she's going to place down Spiritual Border and try not to die. Now, as a challenger, um, Yuka needs to uh, keep the heroine alive until she can find out who the extra boss is. Which is easier said than done. <laughs> so, um, next thing she's going to go ahead and do is she's actually going to go ahead and open with a spiritual attack just to get out of the way. Okay, spiritual attack. Now, who has a bomb that was willing to deal with it? Serna is willing to take a hit if it means wounding everyone else. I uh, can take a hit. Uh, from the looks of things, I think most of these characters are actually fine with taking a hit. The ones that at least have bombs. So yeah, everyone's going to end up taking a wound from this. So, one wound. Draws a card. I don't think you have a way. I mean, you can still, or sorry, correction, it's, um, everyone gets attacked, so you can actually still dodge. So, I'm actually, um, Cerno will actually just graze it, like so. Uh, you don't have a graze. So, yeah, you will take a wound. You're dead. Ayo's gonna go ahead and graze. Uh, Atsuo will graze. Patchy will definitely graze. Oh, also, I need to make sure I'm taking a look if there's any summer cards. That power card was from before. So, okay. Graze, and then for Sakya, she will graze as well. She'll graze at a summer card to get that started. So there you go. That gets resolved. Okay. So really, she only did one wound to, um, she actually did, sorry, she did a wound to um, Alice, which means she draws a card. Also, she actually did a wound um, when she successfully damages another player. Uh, Yuka can actually draw a card. Completely forgot about that. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, still not looking pretty, but it's better than what it was before. All right, sorry about the uh, cut. I actually rewound a few things because I completely forgot about Sakya's ability. So anyway, Yuka is going to be trying to unload her attacks onto Sakya. So that still hasn't changed. She just borrowed, stole the stopwatch. She's going to go ahead and shoot at Sakya. Well, sorry. Now the problem is, is if she tries to shoot, there's a chance that uh, Sakya will just... Uh, bomb it. And there's not much I can do about it if she does bomb it. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot at uh, Sakya. Sakya is of course going to go ahead and bomb it. So what the bomb does is ignores the attack and then attacks the attacker regardless of range. Additional action, uh, action cards may not be played this turn. So yeah. So this is going to be a bit annoying. So it's going to, no matter what, it negates the, uh, she avoids the attack, so this gets avoided. Now she's going to attack back. 
And what will happen is, since I have spirit, uh, Supernatural Border, um, I get to flip the top card. And if it's spring or summer, you avoid the attack. So she actually avoids the attack. And then no additional action cards will be played this turn. So that is it for that. All right. So bombs and played. And she can't play any more uh, action cards, unfortunately. Um, so that's just going to be the end of her turn. All right. Sorry for that confusion. And uh, yeah, that's going to that's the first round completed. And already after the first round, uh, someone got blasted. For the most part, you generally have to be pretty aggressive in this game because there's no way other way. The only way you can communicate in this game is mostly through just action, through you know an array of bullet hell shooters and stuff like that. So one person's been taken out. It's a boss. But uh, any additional information is still mostly unknown. And it's also kind of mostly unknown because it's me playing all the characters at once. So it's very confusing for me. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call this. Uh, when we come back, I'll probably go ahead and do another round. Just to kind of show off the game as it plays through uh, more and more. So I am The Depressed Dior, and this was... Um, actually, yeah. I'm The Depressed Dior. Sorry, I, I forgot a step, but I'll just do it at the beginning of the next video. So Depressed Dior, Tamaku. See you guys later.